bring in Aaron Smith right now. He's Managing Director of Superfund Financial Singapore and joins us from our newsroom to chart uh, anything you want, actually. Aaron, but let me start with you then and ask you about gold. Can you, can you chart the gold price for us and give us a sense of what the momentum trade is saying right now? Well, gold is certainly the safe haven of choice right now. Uh, Superfund's founder, Christian Baja, continues to hold uh, gold and other precious metals like silver. So we think it's a great opportunity at $900 uh, an ounce. It's actually really cheap. Uh, we expect it could easily go above $1,000 an ounce uh, by the end of the year. Uh, certainly, if you look at this chart, you see sort of a uh, resistance level uh, up around north of $960 an ounce. If we can breach that level, uh, that would be very, very bullish. But you can see the price action recently sort of breaking through that moving average level, which is, of course, uh, quite bullish from a technical standpoint. So uh, most investors that have a, a long-term view uh, could do well to, to purchase gold at these levels as well as other precious metals. Um, if you look, uh, the, the retracement in gold is really only in dollar terms because of the strength of the, re, uh, of the U.S. dollar. But if you look in euro terms or pound sterling, uh, gold is actually already at its all-time highs. Okay, Aaron, um, are you as bullish about oil? Because we've seen crude prices pull back uh, quite a bit in the last uh, six weeks or so. Well, at, at Superfund, we've uh, benefited from uh, uptrends in oil at the early part of the year. But as that has reversed in uh, July and August, we stopped out of those positions. Right now, we think it's safer just to not have a position in oil. Of course, in the long run, we think it's much more likely that oil will go up as compared to, uh, you know, stocks like, uh, like the Dow Jones. Uh, if you go back to the 1970s and think about the... Um, the oil crisis, uh, the OPEC sort of shocks, uh, that was only in dollar terms. But if you were holding gold, uh, there was actually no uh, uh, shock in the price of oil. So one of the safest things to buy today uh, would be oil. If you look at the long-term chart of oil, there was a huge uptrend, which uh, many trend followers benefited from as the moving averages and the major trend lines started to get breached in July and August. We started to stop out of those positions. Now. Uh, if uh, oil starts to trend downwards or continues to trend downwards, from a technical standpoint, we can take short positions as a trend follower. But if oil reverses and continues in an up rally, uh, we can also benefit from that. So one of the safest things you could do today is allocate to a diversified managed future strategy, which can actually make money in two directions, rather than just buying commodities long only or stocks long only at this point. Aaron, if you are a risk averse investor and you want to get in on the gold play, then uh, how do you do it? Is it through an ETF? Is it through uh, listed gold miners? Or is it through buying the physical bullion? Well, which many people appear to be doing right now. The, the best way is, is with physical gold and physical silver. That's much better than the, the gold stocks or the ETFs because you should actually have possession uh, of these metals. Uh, but one innovative thing that we've done since 2005 at Superfund was to actually offer a diversified managed future strategy priced in ounces of gold. So gold is the de facto currency of the fund. Uh, so this is a way that you can get exposure to gold plus exposure to managed futures in one investment. But certainly in this type of uncertain uh, market environment, we advise to take possession of physical gold, actual uh, ounces and, and, and bars of gold and silver. Okay, Aaron, we'll come back to you in just a moment. Aaron Smith, Managing Director of Superfund Financial Singapore uh, in our studios here. If you have any